In this tutorial, I am going to evaluate the following integrals. I'll start by looking at the integral of 100 with respect to x. To evaluate this, I will use this formula. The integral of k with respect to x is equal to kx plus the constant of integration c, where k is a constant. By comparison, we can see that our k is equal to 100. Substituting this k into this formula, our result will be 100x plus c where c is the constant of integration. I now move on to the next integral, which is 3x squared with respect to x. To evaluate this, I will use this formula. The integral of x to the power of n with respect to x is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 plus the constant of integration c, where our n is not equal to 1. When we have a constant in the integral sign, we can factor it out and remain with 3, the integral of x squared with respect to x. Now, as you can see, our integral is in the form x to the power of n with respect to x. By comparing these two, we can see that our n is equal to 2. Substituting this n into this formula, our result will be 3 times x to the power of 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 plus the constant of integration c. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. So this 3 and this 3 will cancel, and our final result will be x cubed plus the constant of integration c. I now move on to the third integral, which is the integral of 1 over x plus 4 with respect to x. To evaluate this, I will use this formula. The integral of 1 over x plus k with respect to x is equal to ln of the absolute value of x plus k plus the constant of integration c where k and c are constants. By comparison, we can see that our k is equal to 4. Substituting this k into this formula, our final result will be ln of the absolute value of x plus 4 plus the constant of integration c. I will now move on to the last integral. Integral of exponent of 10x with respect to x. To evaluate this, I will use this formula. The integral of the exponent of f of x with respect to x is equal to the exponent of f of x divided by f prime of x plus the constant of integration c. By comparison, you can see that our f of x is equal to 10x. To get our f prime of x, we differentiate f of x, so we differentiate 10x to get 10. Substituting these values into the formula here, we will get our final result as exponent of 10x over 10 plus the constant of integration c. Thank you for watching.